You're on. Shabbat Shalom, Mishpacha Bahavarim. What's up? It's your girl Shanti Doc coming to you another time on Shabbat. <coughs> and uh, just want to say to you Psalms 133 is a reading. Here it goes in uh, Hebrew first. Ready? He named my told Buma, Nayim, Shevet Achim Gam Yahad. Oh, how good! Or behold, how good! And pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Wanted to come to you and uh, I've been wanting to do this video for a little while. Um, now's the time to do it. Um, and it's about uh, the Sabbath. Um, Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. Um, and how I moved from and how I moved from Sunday to observing the the actual Sabbath or the actual Shabbat of, of the Most High Yahweh, right? And um, when I started reading um, scripture, I was more so in your in your Hadasha or your renewed covenant or what you would call the New Testament. But as I went to um, as I went to uh, the Tanakh, I saw the beginnings of of the Shabbat, and um, I just want to provide some encouraging words for people transitioning into the truth of the Father's word, moving from your Mithra worship or your sun worship, which is Sunday worship, over to observing the Shabbat, right? Um, all throughout the Burek HaDashah, I see Yeshua following the Sabbath. Um, I see the apostles following the Sabbath and the disciples following the Sabbath. So I was like, you know, I gotta follow the Sabbath. Um, and actually in the scriptures uh, and, and the Burek HaDashah, nowhere in there does it say Sunday. It says Sabbath or Shabbat, right? Um, so Shabbat was actually um, created in creation before um, before um, the Ten Commandments were given at Mount Sinai, right? So um, in Better Sheet or Genesis chapter two, verses two through three, um, I'm going to read it to you, and I'm going to be reading from the Scriptures ISR. That's the version I'm reading from. So. Uh, Better sheet or Genesis chapter 2 verse 2 and 3 says and in the seventh day Elohim completed his work which he had done and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made and Elohim blessed the seventh day and set it apart because on it he rested from all his work which Elohim in creating had made right so um, <clears throat> and right then and there we can see it was created in creation the Shabbat um, and how do we know that the Shabbat um, starts from sundown to sundown? Um, you can see that also in Bedeshith of Genesis chapter 1 verse 5. That's what constitutes a day, evening and morning. Before there came light, there was darkness, right? So you can see that in, in Genesis chapter 1. Um, but in Genesis chapter 1 verse 5 it says, And Elohim called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there came to be evening, and there came to be morning one day. So that's how you know um, a day in the Hebrew time starts um, at evening and goes to another evening. Um, what, we're, what we're in right now is called the Gregorian calendar. A guy named Pope Gregory... Uh, <laughs> Back in the way back, y'all can do some research on that. Actually, um, change the change the times. So the Gregorian calendar is, calendar is not the Father's time. And before Pope Gregory did it, a uh, Pope named Julian changed the time. And what what they have done is fulfilled um, Daniel uh, chapter seven verse twenty five around there. They have fulfilled the time that they they have fulfilled scripture where it says man was going to attempt to change times, right? But the Father's time is Hebrew time. His time, actually his time, right? So, um, in uh, Shemot names or Exodus um, chapter twenty, verse eight, um, says, uh, "Remember the Sabbath day to set it apart." Or in the Hebrew, it'll say, "Zakor et yom hashabbat lekodesh." Right? Uh, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. And the word "holy" means set apart, set aside. For the Father, distinguished from anybody else, His people, His chosen people, Yisrael, Abraham, Yitzchak, and Yaakov, or Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jacob's name was changed to Yisrael, right? One whom Yah rules, right? Um, but um, why don't you give some encouraging words and, and show you a little bit of scripture all throughout this encouraging video here about how the Father um, 
how the Father's Sabbath is important to him. And people like, you know, you can praise and worship the Father any day. Yes, you can. You can praise and worship the Father any day. However, in Scripture, the Father set apart the seventh day. That's why I read that to you. Um, you can praise and worship the Father any day, but he set aside the seventh day um, um, for a holy convocation, for a day of rest, to, to spend time with him. It's his appointed time, right? So, excuse the, the flies. I'm outside. I'm on back patio, chilling. But, um, let me read something to you. Um, the Father sees the, the Sabbath as a as a sign between him and his people, right? Um, so, you can read that uh, Shemot, or Exodus, chapter 31, starting at verse 12. Um, says, then Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, and you speak to the children of Israel, saying, my Sabbaths, my Sabbaths, you are to guard by all means for it is a sign between me and you throughout your generations to know that I Yahweh am setting you apart making you holy right so that's that um excuse me I'm going off the off the top I don't have anything written down I want to say but um there's so many scriptures in here um about the the father you know saying to his people how important his Sabbaths are to him that we follow it, right? Um, I guess I want to read to you um, Isaiah 56 as well. A lot of people say, well, you know, the Gentiles, they don't have to follow the Sabbath, then that's also far from being true. Um, if you read uh, Yeshayahu or Isaiah chapter 56, you can start at verse 2. It says, Blessed is the man who does this and the son of man who becomes strong in it, guarding the Sabbath, lest he profane it, and guarding his hand from doing any evil. And let not the son of the foreigner, who has joined himself to Yahweh, speak, saying, Yahweh has certainly separated me from his people, nor let the eunuch say, Look, I am a dry tree. Right? We'll go, we'll go down to verse 6. It says, Also the sons of the foreigner, who join themselves to Yahweh to serve him and to love the name of Yahweh, to be his servants, all who guard the Sabbath, and not profane it, and are holding onto my covenant, them I shall bring to my set-apart mountain, and let them rejoice in my house of prayer. Their ascending offerings and their slaughterings are accepted on my slaughter place, for my house is called a house of prayer for all the peoples. Right? So, uh, he's saying to the eunuchs and he's saying to the Gentiles right there, follow the Sabbath. Um, um, also in uh, Yeshayahu, um, Yeshayahu or Isaiah chapter 58, um, this this verse right here had me um, rethinking about what I was doing on the Sabbath when I was transitioning from Sunday to Sabbath. I was still, you know, doing my hobbies and my own pleasures and things of that nature. So 24 hours, I try to keep my mind stayed on Yahweh and Yeshua. Um, so this is uh, Yeshayahu 58 verse uh, 13 and 14. It says, if you do if you do turn back your foot from the Sabbath from doing your pleasure on my set apart day and shall call the Sabbath a delight. The set apart day of Yahweh esteem and shall esteem it, not doing your own ways, nor finding your own pleasure, nor speaking your own words, then you shall delight yourself in Yahweh. And I shall cause you to ride on the heights of the earth and feed you with the inheritance of Yahweh, your father. For the mouth of Yahweh has spoken. So that right there lets you know we ought to try to do our best to spend 24 hours of the, the, the father's appointed time with him that he set. And, you know, and, uh, in Leviticus 23, it says what you are to do. <clears throat> it says when you are to come together and what you are to do. Um, and this is and this is um, this is uh, Vayikra or Leviticus chapter 23, verse three. It says six days. Excuse me. Let's let's start from verse one. Um, and Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, and say to them the appointed times of Yahweh, which you are to proclaim as set-apart gatherings or holy convocation, my appointed times. He didn't call it the Jews' time. He, he called it his appointed time, Moedim. He said it belongs to him. Those are his set-apart times. His appointed times are these. Six days' work is done, but the seventh day is a Sabbath rest, a set-apart gathering, or a holy convocation. You do no work. It is a Sabbath to Yahweh in all your dwellings. Right? So the Sabbath is not just for the Jews. It doesn't say that here. It doesn't say this is the Jews' Sabbath. It says it's my appointed times, my Sabbath. Right? Um, where do I want to go from here? Um, there's actually one place I do want to read. This is in Psalms 92. You can look at it in your KJV. Um, 
this verse right here is 92, Psalms 92 and 1, or Tehillim 92 and 1. It says, a psalm or song for the Sabbath day. It is a good thing to give thanks unto Yahweh and to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High, O El Yom, right? So that lets you know right there, the Father is telling you to come together, have a holy convocation or a set apart gathering or a set apart assembly on the Sabbath, Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. I'm about to go to uh, a Sabbath service at 1.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time here in the city of Sacramento, right? But I want to let you know something. Let's go to Mark Mark chapter 2. Mark chapter 2. Because this is Yeshua. And this is how we know. This is Yeshua the Messiah and that's his name, Yeshua. Said in um, Mark chapter 2 verse 27 and 28. It says, and he said to them, the Sabbath was made for man and not man for the Sabbath. So the son of Adam is also master of the Sabbath. It doesn't say right here, the Sabbath was made for Jews. It says the Sabbath was made for man. It was made for mankind. And at Mount Sinai, there was a representative for each of the 70 languages there. There was not only the, 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 the children of Israel there, there was a mixed multitude there. So there's no reason for us not to be able to, to understand this and adhere to the Sabbath, right? And then Yeshua. Actually, Yeshua's, um, if we're supposed to be like Yeshua, if we're supposed to be like Messiah and walk as he walked, we're supposed to look at his customs and see what he did, right? So in Luke chapter 4, um, verse 16, and it says, And he, which is Yeshua, came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up and according to his practice he went into the congregation on the sabbath day and stood up to read and the scroll of the prophet yeshiyahu was handed to him and having unscrolled the scroll he found the place where it was written and he's quoting yeshiyahu chapter 61 in there right and you can read all the way down keep reading down to verse 21 so start at verse 16 and go to verse 21 you can see yeshua went into the sabbath excuse me went into the synagogue or the congregation or the assembly on the Sabbath and he began to read and teach right so if we're supposed to be like the Messiah we're supposed to mimic him we're supposed to emulate him and imitate him right because first John chapter 2 says that right we're supposed to walk as he walked and this is what shocked me when I was reading in the video how to shop you know Shaul who they called Paul his name was not changed to Paul that's just like a nickname like my name is my nickname is Shan Shan or Shanti Doc what's on my birth certificate is Ashanti right so in um, the book of Acts in the book of Acts you can start at chapter 13 and you can see where um, um, the apostles and the disciples were following the Sabbath um, Acts chapter 13, um, verse 9, it says, Then Shaul, who also is Paul, filled with the set-apart spirit, looked intently at him, right? He says, also call Paul, right? So in Acts chapter 13, let's see where they're following the Sabbath. Let's go to verse 14. It says, But passing through from Purge, they came to Antioch in uh, Pisidia and went into the congregation on the Sabbath day and sat down, right? And you can see also what? In Acts chapter 15, um, man, they went into the... And they went into the Sabbath again. Um, let's go to verse 21. It says, For from ancient generations Moshe has in every city those proclaiming him, being read in the congregations every Sabbath. So not only the, the, the Yahudim, um, the Jews came into the, to the congregation or the assembly, but the Gentiles as well. All the nations came into the congregations every Sabbath, right? You can see um, where Acts chapter... Um, Acts chapter, let's go to Acts chapter 18. Acts chapter 18, verse 4, it says, And he was reasoning in the congregation every Sabbath and won over both Yahudim and Greeks. That's Shaul. Shaul, the apostle Shaul, right? So you can see all through um, the, the Tanakh and the Brit Hadashah where the Sabbath was followed. So I just want to encourage y'all to... to, to um, Look, 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 uh, look up more research information about the Sabbath. There's a book called um, From Sabbath to Sunday by Samuel Bacciacci, and it lists all the culprits of who tried to change Sabbath to, to Sunday, right? And, you know, it'll have chapters saying Rome and the origin of Sunday, because that's who perpetuated it. It was Rome. Um, there's such chapters called Anti Judaism and the Fathers and the Origin of Sunday. Uh, sun worship and the origin of Sunday because that's what sun worship is sun worship in the origin of Sunday and you go into the theology of Sunday also and um, 
what what else? What other uh, chapter? It says uh, Paul or Shaul and the sap. Okay, so you know, just to encourage y'all, 24 hours spend with the Father. Try to get with some people um, online. Try to get with some people on Facebook, Twitter, whatever you have. Um, 24 hours you can spend singing songs. You can spend time reading. You can spend time studying. You can spend time looking at uh, YouTube lessons and things of that nature. Holler at me on, on Facebook or whatever if you wanna. If, if you want some more information on, on how to, to delight more in the Sabbath, um, you know, I'm about to go to congregation. You can sing, pray, read songs, do whatever, and, and just get to know the Father, spend some time with Him. So, my time is up on here. Shabbat shalom, mishpacha, Y'all have a good and blessed day, all right?